Hi, today in our tutorial, we'll cover a couple of things related to VMware Workstation. Now in this one, I'll show you how can we create clones of our virtual machines. Further, we'll see how can we create the snapshots and we'll try to learn the uh, braid setup on our virtual machines. So uh, you might have noticed a couple of times that, for example, if you are working on an assignment or um, you want to test uh, the penetration testing on your computer, so you need multiple instances of an operating system. Now, um, it's a bit time consuming to install virtual versions uh, or different versions of your virtual machine. So in order to save some time, what we can do is that if, for example, we have a copy of Windows 11, which is installed on our computer and we want to create a copy of it. So instead of installing a, another version of it, what we can do is that we can right click on it um, and then we can go to manage and click on cologne. Now it would create a cologne of the same version of Windows 11 that you have on your computer. And the best thing about that is that both of the operating systems would have its own separate IP addresses so that you can communicate between those two machines and you can run different operations on that. So in that, it would ask you that uh, you want to um, create a cologne of the current state. I'll press next and then I'll select a complete cologne of this one. Then it's asking the location of it where you want to create it. So I'll just uh, keep it like that, whatever it's showing over here and this, then press finish. So now it would create another folder on the same directory where we have virtual machines and it would copy it. It would take some time and once it would be back, I'll show you by running both machines simultaneously so that you can see that how can we run operations on it and we can test different applications on it. Now, as you can see, it has uh, created a cologne of it and uh, it is listed over here as well. Now, in this one, the excellent part is that the settings and everything is exactly the same uh, between the two operating systems since it's a 100% replica of the main operating system for which we have created a copy of it. Now, uh, likewise, if you want to power up the virtual machines, you can click on the second one as well and just start it. So you'll be able to see that it has exactly the same installation of softwares, desktop settings, each and everything as the original version of Windows. Now, as I told you that it has an IP address of 192.168.32.132 and the other clone of it has an IP address of 129. And as you can see that it can ping the other machine and keep a note of the IP address that we have over here. It's 128, whereas on the other one, we have .129 available over here. So in that way, both machines can ping each other and both can communicate. So if you want to test any applications, if it is a uh, virtual machine, which is a clone of a Kali box or Windows Server or anything, you can create multiple copies of it. Now, once that's done, we'll try to look at the snapshots and we'll try to understand that what's the concept behind that. Now, first of all, if you want to uh, take a snapshot of your computer, you can click on take a snapshot or you can go to snapshot manager. Now, what is a snapshot? Snapshot is an exact copy of your operating system at a current state. For example, before making any major changes to your computer, if you are afraid that maybe it would affect your operating system, so the best thing in virtual machines is that you can create a snapshot of the computer. Now, if you'll make any mistakes, it's really easy to just revert back to its original position where actually you took the screenshot. Now, for example, when I installed the Windows and before installing any of the these softwares I took a screen I took a snapshot of it which is called as fresh so if I want to create a snapshot of it now before I'll make any changes to the computer I'll click on take snapshot and I would uh, name it for example temp which is a temporary snapshot and take the snapshot of it so it would take the snapshot of the computer now if you remember we created a cologne of it earlier um, if you created a snapshot of it and then you created a cologne of it so the same snapshot would be copied to that virtual machine as well so that helps us in maintaining it but recommended thing is that if you are going to create any 
uh, clones of the computers it's better not to have the uh, snapshots in it otherwise it would increase the size of the backup or the size of the file on your hard drive so now for example we have created a snapshot over here and if i'll close it and for example if i am going to create some folders on the computer or i'll create certain files or i created a folder over here and i am going to um, create a file over here which is a text file called test and uh, um, if i would now uh, revert my computer to its original position like before when we took the snapshot uh, you'll have to click on the button on revert to snapshot temp and click ok so it would revert my computer to the state when i actually took the snapshot of the computer now as you can see that it has deployed the snapshot and both files that we created they disappeared from the computer so that's the main benefit of creating the snapshots now for example if you created certain snapshots and you don't need them anymore so what we can do is we can go to snapshots and we can click on snapshot manager and for example if you want to delete this one only you can simply click on delete and that snapshot would be deleted from there so that now it's not consuming any space on your hard drive now the third thing that we would like to see today that we'll try to learn that how can we create um, different uh, uh, versions of RAID on our computer so in order to do that what I would do is that I would shut down the computer first of all then I'll create different hard drives or I'll attach the hard drives to my virtual machine. For example, I'll go to the settings of my virtual machine, click on this add button over here and uh, add a hard drive and uh, we'll call it as NVMe. It depends what hard drive you're using on your computer. I'll use create a new virtual hard drive. I'll keep it of 1 GB and make sure you're selecting store virtual disk as a single file press next you can uh, define a path of it as well I am for example going to the D directory directly and just uh, um, saving it on that press finish so as you can see 1 GB partition has been created over there I'm going to create three of them so that I can combine all of them and I'll show you how can we create a raid out of these uh, virtual hard drives now as you can see I have added three uh, different partitions or hard disk on my computer of 1 GB. Now I'm going to start my virtual machine. Now since we have added three different hard drives to this computer, now in order to add them you'll right click on this computer, go to show more options and then click on manage. After that we'll go to the disk management in this one and it would notify us that there are three disks which are added you'll select all of them and then you'll select the option as gpt and press ok now these are the hard drives which are here um, just to make it easy i have changed the look of it so that you can see that it would show an additional hard drive if we'll configure it uh, a raid on any of these hard drives now for example it happens uh, that you might have some old um, hard disk drives which could be of different sizes but you want to combine them all together in order to store bigger files for example bigger than 1 GB files so what you can do is that you can combine all those disks and have a bigger disk of 3 GB over here so that we can have or we can use it as a bigger storage on it so in order to do that we can right click on this one and we can uh, click on the span volume and then click next and then we can add all of these hard drives that we have so if each hard drive is of one gigabyte the combined capacity would be around three gigabyte over there so we'll click on next and we'll say it as uh, storage and then click next and finish uh, it would convert it into a basic disk and you will be able to see that uh, it would show a drive over here which would be of three gigabyte which is connected to my computer now before you had one one drive over here of one gigabyte but now we have a hard drive which is connected as a partition to our computer which is of three gigabyte so in that way you can utilize 
any older hard drives in your computer for any backup purposes and um, anything related to that now for example if i would like to delete this volume and i want to create a, a volume which would be used as a mirror drive um, what i can do is that i can right click on this one and i can say new mirror volume and press next and i want to add another hard drive to this one and uh, i'll press next uh, i'll select the drive e and then i'll um, type in raid over here now press next and finish and again it would convert it into a basic disk and you'll be able to see a directory over here which would be raid now if i would like to open the file over here and i would like to create a folder in this one um, we can see that the folder is created in this one if i would for example try to make any of these hard drives offline for example this one if it is offline it should not affect the raid over here the raid is still available even we can see the file in it though we know that one of the files failed now the benefit of having a mirror copy of it on RAID is that if one of the hard drives is available it would still perform so that you can replace the faulty hard drive and then um, your data and everything would be saved on the computer. Now if you want to revert it back to its original position you'll right click on this one click online and after that uh, you'll see that it is again back and your data is still saved on the same directory whatever you saved on that one now let's see another thing for example if i'll right click over here and i would say remove mirror and i would say that it's this number one that i would like to remove press yes it would remove the file but you can see that this raid volume is still there and the file is still available in this one now if i want to add this one to the mirror so what i can do is i can right click on the raid which is configured on that one i would click add mirror and now this time i'll select the drive number three press yes now this one would be added it would sync it with the files as you can see it's syncing the files and then the file would remain there even this folder would remain there so that's how we manage raid on computers so that was a short tutorial on doing certain operations on our VMware workstation where we learned how can we create a clone of a virtual machine. Then we looked at the snapshots and finally we covered the RAID setup on our VMware workstation. That's it for today. Thank you very much.